What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg and today I'm doing a review on the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. you guys so I am so excited to be doing this review for you today I just ordered this as a part of the VIB sale from Sephora this palette is absolutely gorgeous I've had my eyes on it since it launched so I'm so happy to have this in my hands and I also ordered the new Huda Beauty um, faux filter foundation there is a review and wear test on this so I will have a link up above and then also down below if you're interested in seeing this being tested out as well so today I am going to do swatches and then I'm also going to show you how I got this makeup tutorial or this makeup look that I am wearing today. On my channel I do eye swatches so what that means is that I'm going to take the shadow with a brush, put it on my eye so you guys can actually see what each shadow looks like, how it blends out, if it works, if it doesn't work because we can look at arm swatches all day but it matters how the shadows actually function on our eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing the swatches. So I'm gonna go across each row and at the end of the row, I will have swatches on my arms just so you guys can see. And then I am going to go ahead and show you how I got this look that I am wearing. So if you want to see how these shadows perform and see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Desert Sand is a matte eyeshadow. Musk is a matte eyeshadow. Eden is a matte eyeshadow. Amber is a matte eyeshadow. Blood Moon is a pressed pearl shadow. And Oud is a matte eyeshadow. Celestial, Celestial, I can't say that. <laughs> it is one of the dual chrome topper shadows. Nefertiti, I'm sure I'm butchering the names of all these, I'm so sorry, but it is a pressed pearl shadow. Twilight is a dual chrome topper shadow. Amethyst is a matte shadow. Royal is a pressed pearl eyeshadow. Retrograde is a dual chrome topper shadow. Cashmere is a pressed pearl shadow. Angelic is a pressed pearl shadow. Cosmo is pure glitter eyeshadow. Turkish Delight is a pressed pearl shadow. Saffron is a matte shadow. And lastly, Blazing is also a matte shadow. So this makeup look was heavily inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She did the horizontal spotlight eye and I basically just, you know, took her steps and then applied it with these uh, shadows. So if you want to check out her video, I suggest you do so. I didn't think that this turned out terrible for being a first time trying a technique out. So let's go ahead and roll into the tutorial. To get into the tutorial, I am just going to go in with a blending brush and I am taking Musk, which is a medium toned matte shadow and I'm going to put that all over my crease. I'm going to blend it pretty high up to my brow bone. I'm not going to leave a ton of space between uh, the shadow and my brow. Now I'm going to dip into Oud and I am just going to heavily pack this onto my eye. I'm not going to focus on blending a whole lot with this brush. I'm going to make sure that I have the shape laid down that I want. 
And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm gonna lightly blend the edges. In Nikki's video, she described it as you barely want the brush to actually be touching your skin and your shadow because you just want to do such a light, soft blend. If you feel like some areas are getting muddy, you can always go back into musk and sort of blend everything together. Now for the horizontal spotlight eye, as she was calling it, I'm going to go ahead and dip into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just using a concealer brush. Any sort of stiff bristled brush that you have will work great for this. And then I'm just gonna like kind of see like right above where my eyelid space ends. That's like right where we wanna start laying down the concealer. And then you're gonna put that throughout the middle of your eye. And then I'm also gonna go back in with Oud and like use that as a liner for this look. So I'm gonna put that as close to my lash line as I possibly can. Now I'm gonna take Celestial, which is one of the dual chromes, and I'm gonna pat that in the center of my eye, and I'm gonna leave a teensy bit of space up near the top. And then for the super glittery part, I decided to take my Stila. This is like their liquid metal glitter, and this is in the shade Diamond Dust. And I'm just going to take an eyeliner brush to apply that because I want the line to be super thin. For the bottom, for the lower lash line, I'm just taking a black matte eyeshadow. I pulled mine from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just pressing that into my lash line. And then I am taking a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to blend that out and smoke it out with And then on the very edges, I'm gonna go back into musk and blend that on the very outer edge. So it's a nice gradient that we have going on the lower lash line. And then for my inner corner highlight, I just again went back into my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe and I took the shades in Light and Beam, which are the two highlighted shades, and I added my Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes to finish this look off. All right, you guys, so I am just cutting in really fast because I just finished filming this makeup tutorial. So if you would like to see it, subscribe, so that way you're notified when it goes live. But I didn't do this um, for the tutorial in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys a close-up of the palette. I did use nine colors for this look that I'm wearing, so I used about half the colors in here. I haven't, you know, cleared away the dust out of any of the shadows, just so you guys can get an idea of the fallout with the shadows. There really isn't a lot. But I will say that Desert Sand and Eden definitely are a lot softer shadows. So there was, you know, a little bit of mess, but nothing to complain about. And then again, doing this look, I used nine of the shadows and I had very minimal fallout. It was just really easy to just swipe it away with a stippling brush. So let's go back to the original video and finish this up. All right, you guys, so this is the finished tutorial. I hope you guys found this easy. I mean, it's not super easy beginner-like, but it turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to. I'm really happy with how the shadows performed. I feel like they blended out so nicely, like it was really effortless to work with the eyeshadows. I will say that I was a little bit pleasantly surprised with the shadows because as you guys saw when I was swatching, I had a ton of fallout on my face and I really didn't get that much fallout. I did have a teensy bit. So um, there is like a little bit, but as long as you're careful with patting the shadows on and then like lightly blending it and you're just careful with how you work the shadows, I don't think you have to worry about a ton of fallout as an issue. So normally when I do my makeup, I love doing my foundation first and doing my eyes last. I was nervous to do that today, but I do think that I can get away with doing my face makeup and doing my eyes last as I normally do because again, as I just said, there wasn't that much fallout with this. I am so excited to get into more of the sunset colors in this palette, like the purples and oranges. I'm definitely gonna be doing another tutorial not using such neutral colors. I really do want to get into like the depth of this palette that makes it exciting and stand out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. <laughs> All right, so I would love to hear from you guys. What kind of looks would you want to see from this palette? Would you guys purchase this? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.